what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob and i'm bryce today we are back with abbott elementary this is season three episode 11 double date last episode uh we saw janine faced with a tough decision um she had finally been like offered the permanent position at the district and it seemed like she was going to go through with it they had this whole like welcome party planned for her but knowing janine that just is not what she was meant to do she's meant to be a teacher she got that card from barbara that had all of the little messages from her students and stuff telling them or telling her like good luck and how much they'll miss her got a tear out of me too so definitely an emotional moment can't imagine how janine felt seeing that but i think that was definitely just like the final nail in the coffin for her at the district seeing that that letter was 100 percent the final motivation i think for her coming back to school and now that she is coming back to abbott i'm just excited for the rest of this season now that we don't have to wonder when janine's coming back yeah i mean obviously this one's called double date though gonna be a double date uh yeah i did also see on twitter yeah okay i was gonna the, say i just remembered now a person that appears in this so yeah we are a little late to this one so you know twitter does like to spoil things sometimes with the accounts we follow but of course we would all love gregory and janine to be together but i have a feeling that this episode they're not but i'm excited to see like the dynamic between him and this character that I don't know why I'm not saying who it is because we both know there's mm. no Zuff to, to not spoil, but I believe it's Lana Condor, right? Like she is from To All the Boys I Loved Before that we watch. So I think she's his date. I'm excited to watch it. I think a lot of this, or at least a little, is going to be outside of the, the classrooms of the, the, the school, which I'm always here for. I think it's cool to see them out of their element. That was always an interesting thing. You know, in school, seeing your teacher out of the classroom, it's like, what is going on right now? It's, it doesn't feel right. So I think it's going to be a fun episode, though. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. Before we do get into the episode, if you have been liking these Abbott Elementary reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We have our Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias, our second channel, and our PO box. Make sure to check all of those out. With all that being said, we're going to get right into the episode. Abbott Elementary, Season 3, Episode 11, Double Date. Let's do it. Yeah, but I'm back back. Yeah, but wasn't your first date back last week? No, it's today. Welcome back, Janine. <laughs> Well, thank you, Mr. Morton. Oh, Mr. Morton, it's been a while since we, we all saw hate him. we all hate him, right? Yeah, he's the one who beefs with Jacob. I have an exciting announcement, Abbott. Today is the long anticipated return of one of our babes. Cinnamon buns in the cafeteria. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't gonna be Janine. Good morning, everyone. Hey Alex. I'm happy you're back, Miss G. Aw. At least he is. That's all that matters. Oh, great job, Ebony. Way to carry that one. We're going to do great things this year, guys. <laughs> it's almost to May. <laughs> School's almost <laughs> over. Do you still have those glitter glue sticks I lent your class back in September? Yes, those were for me, not my class. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Personal use. Thank you. Well, everything feels right. Can we just love each other? Well, who's in this exclusive book club? Me. Barb, Ava, Ms. Inez, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Morgan. Every other teacher. Ooh. Ooh. The rivalry's back. And I love literature and community. Even if she did name it A-A-R-B. <laughs> hey, man, her reading bitch is going on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I salute you. Even though Dick kind of give arsonists a bad name. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm not done. You didn't what is it, Fahrenheit 451? The book? Isn't Fahrenheit 451 about, like, arsonists burning down books or something? Yeah, it's like a dystopian society where they burn books. Grego, my ego. <laughs> Tonight I'm getting dinner with this paramedic I've been seeing, Avi. We know Avi. Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. He asked if I had a straight friend, and I was like, I've got the best one ever. <laughs> the best straight friend ever. Let's do it. It's probably time to shake it up. My last date using the wrong spelling of there in every single text. Oh, that's a turn off. Red flag. I love novels about societal collapse. A world without laws? Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> well, I think we can all agree that some of the feminist rhetoric was a bit over the top. <laughs> all right, there's four Martin. women in this. Mr. Magic, in a post-apocalyptic society like this one, 
What skill would you bring to the table? Nothing. I have nothing to offer. My strength is my faith and my voice to heal the <laughs> In the apocalypse. Oh, here we go. Oh, there hey. she is. Disgusting. Where's no Centennial? Hopefully nowhere near here. Yeah, far away. What is the most blood that you guys have ever seen? Gray Gory. Jacob's banned from the darts here speaking of blood. Oh, how am I supposed to get better if they won't let me practice? Didn't we see him throwing darts this season at some yeah, point? Yeah, it was <laughs> here. And I'm pretty sure he hit somebody. I'll grab the first round. Is that Janine? Oh my god, don't. Oh, she looks like she's. Yeah, she looks like she's out. Outside. Oh, that's Manny. Oh, it's, it's just Manny. No, it's just ketchup. Right? Maybe, yeah. It's not like that. I mean, what are they catching up about? They saw each other last <laughs> fucking two days ago. Oh, Gregory's gonna be tweaked. Why are you so sure she's on a date? Look what she's wearing. Yeah, that's Janine! She's on a date. Kind of cute, cute. <laughs> it's a freakum dress. Oh, no, that it's, it. oh. it's the ketchup. <laughs> oh, he's bothered. Melissa and Mr. Johnson, your shared nihilism seems compatible. And Roz, your ability to see the best in everyone means that you'll thrive under my leadership. And Barb, you think that religion is the answer, which makes you the only person. Barb and Mr. Morton does not sound like a good group. No. I want to be with Ava. I, I'd pick Mr. Johnson. Greg, yeah. did, you, did you hear that? Yes. That was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, that I'm the oldest of four? <laughs> oh, I feel sick. I was actually triplets. Bro, he's just staring at them. And so my mom made me worry. You, um, you feeling okay for that? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh, oh, he's close. He sat right next to her. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? But like, oh. she's been standing for a while. And it's weird that she wouldn't tell us, you know? You know what? He must have been the one who sent those flowers that were on her. Oh my god, bro. I've, I can't. I'm so embarrassed for this man. That's a date beard. <laughs> I'm just saying that he grows a really nice beard, you know? And that's that's the kind of beard that you want to be on a date with. <laughs> what the hell? You'd be so much more attractive to me if I had that beard, right? That's definitely. Oh, oh my god. I hate it. I can't. <laughs> You talk a lot for a librarian. I can barely hear what the others are plotting. And I don't think it's even about the hentai anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got a missionary coming our way from Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just grabbing some water for our group. You're grabbing? We don't take kindly to thieves round They're the all party. factioned up in the post-apocalypse. Praying for some water. <laughs> Pray for some water. <laughs> Oh, dude. I feel bad for Olivia. I know. Gregory's treating her like shit. Bumped into somebody that you just didn't expect to see. Actually, yeah. Uh, I responded to a call at my piano teacher. Oh, my God. You were saying something about uh, your piano teacher and a call, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I'm <laughs> dude. Looking at it, and I Oh, you just put some mints in. Oh, man, he is. Oh, my God. How are you? I'm good, bro. How are you doing, Gregory Eddie? <laughs> Gregory Eddie. <Hattie. laughs> no second date for him. Dude, he doesn't deserve the first one. Yeah, me and Jake are on a, on a double date. I don't know about y'all, though. Did you just call him Jake? <laughs> I don't know about y'all, though. <laughs> me and Jake. What's up? Hey, uh, remember that time you screamed and then everybody looked at you? Who, Olivia? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's cool. She's great. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it crazy that we all hear... Ruben's team tonight, just dating it up. Everybody. Everybody's here on a date. Wait, 
I know you didn't think I was on a date with Tariq. Oh, so only the people on the right side. <laughs> Nobody here is on a date, so. Oh, but you all dress so well. Eric and I are going out to the hookah bar after this, so. Ah, okay, so why are you here with Mandy? Oh my fucking god, Gregory. This is so weird. Ruby Seas is the only place you can take your laptop out after five. Hey, oh, okay, I don't see a laptop, but, uh. <laughs> Dude. I want to know so much about that. <laughs> then you pop that mint. Oh. Garlic bread, and I didn't want to be bothering this tea. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's actually pretty delicious if you want some. But your beard. But your beard? Damn, Gregory. Any more questions? Rubenstein's going. Why is he double fisting that beer, bro? <laughs> those wings all yourself you're supposed to share mm -hmm. and why did you give her the food she told me she'd give me a raise and you bought that why does she need all that food so she has the power nobody lets me do anything yet here i am doing things that's why i'm a leader now who will bend the knee and kiss the wing <laughs> Recognize that I'm the only one tough enough and smart enough to lead in the end times. <laughs> Followers always give up. Uh oh, what are they plotting? Do you feel that part? Oh, I sure do. Yeah, that feels just like I got. Oh, uh -oh. Come on, dude, it was almost over. Fine by me. This is your simulation. I'm just living in it. <laughs> well, it was ready 30 minutes ago, and I think they gave it away, but. He's with Mr. Rush, so we can just go put our names back on the list. Actually, I, I don't know if your friend is on a date, but you're not. Oh. Oh, oh, man. Maybe I can still see you around sometime. Maybe. If you're in, like, a serious accident. Oh, oh shit. This is the best date I've ever been on. <laughs> your friend is so messy. <laughs> Oh, that was that was a terrible, terrible date. Gregory, Gregory. Oh my God. Let me tell you what. There's no pregame like closing out your old district email account. <laughs> By the way, it is so funny that you thought Manny and I were on a date. Yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> so embarrassing. Flowers from the district have wilted, but um, could I grab some from your garden? Yeah, please. Look at him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? I know. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Come on, Greg. Oh, this. I'm just touching up my new beard. Me and Jacob decided to grow him out over spring break. Bro, <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> yes. If you were in my second grade class, you'd have the eight best beard. <laughs> yeah, Gregory, is this beard in the room with us right now? <laughs> it's a marathon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you could finish a marathon sweetheart. Oh, no. Three way Damn. Oh. oh, I thought we were doing this together. I forgot. <laughs> Definitely the 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 best part of the episode was the whole Gregory oh date thing. That might have been one of my favorite parts of the whole season so far that was fantastic yeah it was really good uh i wish i feel bad for lana condor's character olivia i feel i wish she was in it more she just got treated very poorly i mean yeah obviously double date but he could not stare away from janine and manny the whole time thinking they were on a double date i mean i probably would have thought the same thing but knowing the perspective we have uh, there was never really anything with those two, uh, but as far as he knew, he didn't know. So super, super awkward conversations and scenarios he had there, like trying to figure out what was happening. They were just doing some district stuff, obviously, but I just feel like that sets up for him. Like it, it that was a wake up call for him. I, I think he's known for a bit, but that was like, he was certainly jealous. Um, and just the end there conversation with Jacob, I feel like 
next episode maybe the one after like soon he is going to have to make a move on janine because he wants her he doesn't want anyone else to snatch her up he he deserves her they're they're perfect together so i am hoping we finally get the janine gregory relationship soon we've seen them kiss once or twice but uh, like we need them to be together yeah i'll be a bit disappointed if this season ends and there's no progress made between those two because in the past uh, like there's always things that have gotten in the way or like timing hasn't been right but i feel like right now like there's nothing stopping them like they both like each other they're both back at abbott like they're both single it's just prime time and and if they don't get together i'm going to be a little salty about it not gonna lie uh, i have faith though i feel like there will be uh, some progress made in these last few episodes but yeah the the, the date was just 10 out of 10 hilarious I, I i was going through it with the secondhand embarrassment just gregory put on a show him screaming out when Manny put that mint in was just, I, I can't, I can't even imagine being in that situation. Uh, also just Tariq just randomly showing up. I always love seeing Tariq. Give me all the Tariq content. I mean, and then the other storyline, uh, I don't, it wasn't as, as good. Honestly, it, it, it wasn't anything crazy, but the whole like book club, them separating into factions and not understanding the true meaning of the book was pretty funny, but I mean, just definitely got overshadowed by uh everything that was going on with the young teachers and the date all right guys well that's pretty much it for this episode if you have been liking all of these abbott elementary reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we got our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check all of those out with all that being said we'll see you guys next time for abbott season 3 episode 12 peace out